This is Oliver, about to discover his new dream bedroom. What the? But it didn't always look like this. I've been given just two days to transform this kid's bedroom without him knowing. I've sent him and his family away to a secret location. I'll reveal where shortly. Which gives me a small amount of time to pull this bedroom makeover off. I'm outside Oliver's house for the very first time. I only have 48 hours. Oliver doesn't know that I'm here. His family have kind of convinced him that it's a little family trip together. Let's go and see his bedroom room for the very first time. Seeing the state of Oliver's room actually made me quite sad for him. He had stuff everywhere. Nothing was clean and the room had zero organisation. I mean, he even used a knife in the wall to hold his gaming headset up. Bro, who's he think he is? Bro, Ryan Gosling. <laughs> to be fair though, the headset was trash. That should still work. We haven't actually got him a new headset, so he'll have to just get, he'll have to deal with that. There was one positive though. This kid seemed to have some pretty cool interests: skateboards, gaming, movies, but most importantly, cars. Dale Earnhardt from six to first and scores the victory with a Pepsi 400. Yes, man. See, Oliver shared a massive passion for cars with his dad. They go car spotting together every weekend and they enjoyed going to car meetups together. That was until 2020 when his dad sadly passed away. And since then, Oliver understandably became reclusive. His mental health deteriorated and he hit a wall of depression. And I can't fix any of that. No one can, but there's something I can do, and that's bring some positivity into this kid's life. According to a recent study, people living in cluttered environments are 77% more likely to experience depression. And not only that, it's also dangerous. As we were clearing Oliver's room though, we came across something. Something I did not expect, and it completely shifts the mood of this entire video. The final letter his dad ever sent it's him. It's the letter his dad wrote to him to say bye. No. Fucking hell, that's a lot, bro. I've been given permission by the family to read what was on that note from their dad, so I'll read that to you in a second as it contains a really nice message that I think carries a lot of weight that I'm sure a lot of you can take something really valuable from. But first, let's get on with resetting this kid's bedroom to factory default. Do I really want to touch that? Oh. <laughs> I've managed to get my hands on a few things that upgrades this guy's gaming setup to here. I felt like I was tearing a big part of someone's life away at this point, but this bedroom was holding this kid back. Just imagine how he's going to feel in a clean, brand new space. We ripped the carpet up, folded it up, and threw it outside, ready for this entire room to be licked with a fresh coat of paint. But before that, we needed to clean, fill, and sand these walls back down. That can't be good for you. Do you know how abandoned buildings are clean than this? God only knows how many controllers have been launched at these walls. <laughs> I see a lot of myself in Oliver, starting with this wallpaper. I even had something similar when I was exactly his age, which is funny because that was the age I also started TGF, which came from creating a clean, stable environment for myself. But it was time to rip this wallpaper out to replace it with something a bit more modern and grown up for him. At this point, you're probably wondering, where did I send the family and where's this secret location? Well, I managed to get Oliver's mom and sister in on the entire thing. They've convinced Oliver that they're going away on a a trip they've been saving up for but actually I paid for the trip to keep Oliver away from the house just long enough for me to complete his bedroom makeover without raising any suspicion. I asked his sister what their favourite place to go was as a family and she told me it was St Ives in Cornwall. The only problem is though they're due back in two days time and we genuinely have absolutely no idea if this is all going to be possible in two days so this should be fun. We are in a rush, we've got to put a bed together, which is an ottoman bear, PC desk, which is gonna have his monitor and Xbox One. We've got to get the carpet fitted tomorrow. I'll see you all in the morning. All right, so we're back for the second day. We've got a lot of stuff to do today. We still got to do some painting. We need to fit carpet. That is the biggest concern for today because I've never fit carpet in my life, but I'm confident I can do it. I watched the YouTube short earlier, so uh, I think we're good. <laughs> Let's get in the house and crack on with the rest of the painting before we move on to the carpet. We're 32 
two hours in right now, which means we only have like 16 hours left until Oliver and his family come home, which is a massive pressure right now because we've literally only painted the room. We haven't even fitted the carpets yet and God knows how long that's going to take because we're in a big, big rush because if this guy comes home and he sees me just fucking painting his bedroom or fitting carpet, yeah, this ain't good. I think we're going to have to work into the night once again tonight as well. I silicon the windows to give them a proper seal because let's face it, this wasn't gonna cut it. Over time, these windows started to leak moisture into the room, resulting in black mold growing, which is extremely dangerous. Now that's done, it was time to make the biggest difference of all the carpet. I headed over to the local carpet shop to grab a nice big roll of grey carpet. That wasn't before I had to grab some photos with the locals though. I strapped the carpet to the roof of my truck, drove back and somehow managed to get it into the bedroom, but I hit a brick wall and started to lose my mind. We've been sitting here for about an hour and a half on the floor Losing our minds because we're in a rush, but we're still waiting for the radiator to dry because we can't even put the carpet there until it's dry. But you know what? We haven't been using our brains. And I think it's because I ate a Nutella biscuit with Dulux paint on it. I just blinked to Morse code to you. That means save me. I'm actually being held hostage. Oh, shit. Make sure you put these in the safe. Yeah, put, um... That's what we used to pull that kid's teeth out on down the street the other day. Is that you recording? None of this is productive because Oliver is only 18 hours away from returning home and I still have so much to do. Fit the carpet, build the bed, build a desk, set up his Xbox, make his bed, fit his lampshade, add lamps, hang picture frames, add accessories, clean the house, clean the garden, and prep the camera for his return. Enough talking. Let's do this. So tiring, you know. How long have we been going now? Over 29 hours, 28 hours. We've actually just completely carpeted an entire room and it's not even a bad job. <laughs> Time's running out. Oliver's returning home in nine hours. It's like 4 a.m. right now, and we're building furniture in his room, trying our best to stay sane. <laughs> Time's ticking, and I'm not sure we're even gonna make it at this point. This is the bed. We're gonna go for a headboard here, and then the bed comes down here because that leaves all of this space here for his desk. Now we've got the bed in here, so let's go up a bedroom. I think the one thing that, for me, that's gonna make this feel much cosier and homelier is when we have a lamp on in here and we've got ambient lights. That's a big thing for me in any room. Obviously, you're gonna have the ambience coming off his monitor and his Xbox. You're gonna have lamps in here. We're gonna have candles, some plants in here. I'm gonna bring some life into the room and I think it's gonna change the kid's mindset fully, you know. Bed is basically done. Time to put the mattress on. Oh! <laughs> That is comfy. This definitely beats his last bed. Purely because there's no uh, holes in this one. If you put a hole in this chair, I'll actually kick you in the dick. Right, next up, we're gonna build his desk. This is where he's gonna be gaming. He's got an Xbox One. Not only is it just a desk, it's actually a motorized desk. I feel like a zombie, man. We've been at this project for two days now. It is 4.30 a.m. right now. It's getting very, very late, and this guy gets home in approximately 12 hours. It's Monday morning right now, the oh, day no the day they land home and we're still building fucking furniture in this guy's bedroom. Yeah, you come in. Oh, what am I going to wear? Yeah, I'll get that. I'll go bed or I'll fucking game, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, yeah, let's game. Yo, man. let's game. Yo, you wanna play Fortnite, bro? <laughs> Dusty Depot, bro. You know the drill. Get out the get out Look at this drill. I'm kidding, that's not a drill. That's a fucking sub, bro. <laughs> that's a blue sub, bro. I got that shit from a chest, dog. <laughs> bro, that's so cool. Bro, it works. They actually work. Bro. It actually works. Set up the office we chair, guys. We've got an office chair with a motor as well that goes up with it. That puts a dildo off his ass. 
So while we get dry So while we make bedroom makeovers I'm so fucking excited to never see you again. The family are only an hour away and we have some very small last minute details that we want to touch upon in the bedroom. We've done a lot more since the last time I saw you but we carried on working throughout the night. As soon as we've got all these last minute bits done, we're going to get back to the bedroom and we're going to show you the final reveal of this project that we've been working on. I feel so mentally exhausted. We've been going now for like 40 hours. 40 hours plus. But we ain't got time to sleep. Yeah, we have. <laughs> Get up, man! <laughs> Get the fuck up! Oliver and his family are back in like three minutes. Hopefully he appreciates this. My, um, my heart's racing a little bit, you know, because I'm like really, I'm excited, but like apprehensive. I just really hope he likes the room, which I think he should. The state he left it in versus the state he's coming back to. It's night and day. What I've done is I've been communicating with Oliver's sister this entire time and she's been helping us out kind of like keep this whole thing a secret. Oliver has no idea that this is about to happen, you know. At all. Here's the plan. When Oliver and his family walk in, I'm gonna make out that this entire thing is a surprise for his twin sister. She's in on this whole thing too. I'm gonna gift her the recent childish collection and make out like I thought it was only her who was a big fan of my videos. Then, out of nowhere, when Oliver's least expecting it, I'm gonna swoop in and surprise him with his brand new bedroom. Hello! <laughs> you okay? <laughs> it's good to meet you. It's good to meet you, man. You okay? <laughs> right, so I'm basically giving away the childish collection to like multiple people. And I heard Poppy watches TJF and has watched our videos. <laughs> that right there is for you. You've got one of everything there from the new collection. So I was Jake do you watch our videos yeah. as well? Really? Yeah, that's my twin sister. I'm like biggest fucking fan. <laughs> I didn't so know you watched the video. Oh, I watched your road trip videos as well. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. Oh, thank you, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Well, I've got one little thing for you. Okay. Yeah. It's upstairs in your room. I lied. I knew you watched our videos. Go in there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay bro. We heard about your story and like we know you've had a tough couple of years. We just thought we would do what we could to help you out and your family man. But your room was a fucking state. <laughs> do you like it? Yeah, I'm speaking. Honestly, my heart is racing right now because we have done so much, yeah. Like bro, it has been it has been insane. Like we even fitted car I fitted carpet for the first time in my life. We picked up the note that your dad wrote to you. Yeah. And on the third page of there, it says, keep your room tidy. Yeah. So make sure you keep this room tidy for him, bro. Okay. Just to help them out a little bit more too, I gave their mom 500 pounds to just cover them over the next couple of months to make life a little bit easier. And now the letter his dad left him. I've cut quite a lot of personal stuff out of here, but I kept in the parts that I thought that you guys could take something from. I want to see lots of wheelie and jump videos. Of course, you have to go into the car spotting for us both now. Keep your bedroom tidy. Remember, food goes in your mouth and not on the floor. Help mom out too, okay mate? You all need to be there for each other right now. From time to time, ask mom if there's anything that you can do for her. A little goes a long way, believe me. But most importantly, get your smile back. Yes, it's been a tough time, but it takes less muscles to smile than it does to frown. I love you so much, my boy, and I'll see you soon. Love always, dad.